my experience of the atomic bombing. I was born on March 20, 1939, in second district of Yokogawa town in Hiroshima city. I entered elementary school in April 1945. Soon after I started going to school, it was decided that students should be sent to the countryside for evacuation from air raids. The school in the countryside where we moved to was closed during summer, the business season for farmers. Mother was worried about our house in Hiroshima and she needed to visit her relative in the sick bed, so we temporarily came back home. It was a clear morning on the 6th of August in 1945. The sun was glowing. Mother took my baby sister Toshiko to visit her sick relative in its kite town on the outskirts of the city when she was leaving home. My four sisters Michiko asked mother to take her with her, but mother did not allow her to come. Later, mother regret with tears. I should have taken Michiko with me. I still remember her coming out of the house, begging me to take or alone and she stayed there to see me off for a long time. My elder brother was sent to the army camp in Yamaguchi prefecture. My second sister Hideko was a girls school student mobilized to work at the Japan Steel Works in Kaita town. On August 6, she was at home on a monthly holidays and uh, hanging the washing on the line on the upstairs balcony. My south sister Hiroko in Tsurumi town together with her schoolmates, mobilized to work in the building evacuation work. Hiroko was about to fasten the crops of the Jikatabi, the Lava sold socks. My four sister Michiko went off on a bicycle to get ice for our home refrigerator. She had just learned to ride. My fifth sister Katsuko was watching sister Hideko's walk, walk upstairs. I am the sixth and after mother left home. I took my immediate little sister Fumie to visit our uncle in the neighborhood. My eighth sister Toshiko was at Koi Station with mother. My sister Fumie and I were at our uncle's house after the the air lace a lot was all cleaned that morning. The house surrounding the courtyard was early and very comfortable. Aunt was cleaning the stud
study room in what in which windows faces to the east and the south. She played a record for children and we were listening to the music. There were two study wooden desks, two chairs, and a bookshelf on the south side of the room. It was then that I should have playing flying over the sky. And even with my child eye, I know it was B-29. It's a B-29 plane. I soloted and climbed onto the window pane to see the plane better. My cousin followed me to come to the window. So I moved a little to the west side on the window pane. As we were looking at the plane together, it dropped the A-bomb, which exploded 600 meters above the ground in the air. The house where we were was at 1.3 kilometers from Grand Zell.